Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to talk to a camera. When you're starting out on YouTube, talking to the camera might feel a bit awkward, especially if you're making your first videos and you have not had the time to practice. So today, I'm going to give you three tips how you can make talking to the camera a bit easier to get more professional content faster. Okay, tip number one, always remember that the camera is just a tool between you and your best friend, the viewer. So when you're talking to the camera, imagine that you would be talking to your best friend or someone you know. Do not think about it that you're talking to a camera because in fact, you are talking to a much wider audience. But it makes it easier to think that you're talking to somebody who's right there across the table and you're just trying to get your point through when you're trying to explain something. That makes it a whole lot easier. Just imagine that you're talking to your friend instead of a tool, a camera. Okay, tip number two, and this is something that I see all the time on YouTube and it bugs me out so bad. Most of the cameras these days have a flip out screen that you can turn to adjust the image and you can see yourself when you're filming yourself. But when it comes to vlogging, if you leave the flip out screen right there, you might just end up staring at the flip out screen and checking it constantly. You might find yourself doing this all the time just to check how am I, how does it look, how am I in the image. Stop doing that because it creates a disconnect. When you you're talking to your friend across the table you're not looking into their ear and this is exactly what it feels like when I'm watching a YouTube video when somebody's talking to the flip out screen and staring at it all the time it feels like they'd be staring at my ear or something right there behind me so if you find the flip out screen distracting you and you find yourself just checking it all the time like this just flip it out before you actually start filming your video, just use the flip out screen to check that everything, the composition and everything, the lights and everything is in order and then flip it out. You don't need it. When you are actually recording the video, just keep your eyes focused on the lens because that is where the people are. That is the face of your friend right there, the lens. Not there, there. Flip out the flip out and look into the lens. third tip is the most simplest one just be yourself imagine that you're being on a date with somebody and that someone is pulling on and acts and showing off and trying to be this either this super energetic guy or then he's just leaning back and being this all cool guy you know I'm not yeah I got this and I got that would you go out on a second date with a guy like that so try to be yourself in front of the camera. Just be what you normally are. And a long time, you will notice that some things that you have in your own personality are the things that people will actually love. And those are the things that come only from you being your all authentic self. So instead of leaning back like this and being all cool and everything, maybe just lean in a little bit to make the viewer feel more comfortable around you. Because this is something that I would do when I would be talking to a friend in a restaurant. I'd be leaning in and being interested about their story. So this makes you interested about my story since I'm leaning in and giving myself out to you. Okay, I promised you three tips and I got a bonus one for you and that is that practice makes you perfect. Nobody gets it right the first time. Don't be afraid to make mistakes in front of the camera because you are only going to be putting out the best shot. Nobody's gonna put out the bloopers and remember that you are not doing a live video. You can cut out the bad parts, you can cut out the silences, cut out all the mmms, oh I just got mixed up. You can cut those out. So whenever you make a mistake, just pause and then start talking about it again. And that makes editing the footage so much easier if you pause every single time that you make a mistake. And remember that nobody is perfect at the first go, not even at the second or even at the third go. It takes a whole lot of time to practice how to talk to the camera. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you have not done so already. And as always, have a great day and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.